content creators always crave to get more realistic colors from their equipment. Current consumer devices like iPhones provide high dynamic range to have that kind of experience. iPhone 12 and later allow capturing Dolby Vision HDR content, and Larix Broadcaster allows streaming it. In this video, we'll show how to stream HDR content from Larix through OBS Studio and publish it to YouTube Live. You will need the latest OBS Studio for Windows version 28 and later, which is a starting point to support 10-bit HDR encoding. YouTube supports HEVC codec for 10-bit via HLS ingest, and OBS can do that. You will also need a GPU hardware supporting 10-bit HEVC encoding. The NVIDIA 10 series is a minimum requirement for such encoding. And we use the NVIDIA GTX 1060. There are some other hardware options mentioned in the OBS docs as well. Also notice that HDR content will only be available on HDR-compatible devices. Go to the OBS Settings, Advanced tab, and select Direct3D11 as the renderer. Here's another very important setting. Set color format as P010, that's the 10-bit format. Now choose Color Space as Rec2100. There are two options, PQ or HLG. Our source will use Dolby Vision Profile 8.4 which is technically HLG with additional metadata, so we choose that. We want to see all of the colors, so the color range is set to full. You may also tweak NIT values per your preferences or your device capability. Next, go to Streaming Settings and choose NVIDIA NVENC HEVC as encoder. Set the profile as Main 10. The rest of the encoding settings are up to you. Now, go to Stream tab, click on Custom, and choose YouTube HLS. Enter your credentials for streaming to connect OBS to your account. We've set it up previously here. Now, we're creating a media source to receive an SRT stream from Larix. Make sure you uncheck the Local File checkbox. In the Input field, set the unspecified address for listening for incoming SRT streams on all interfaces. Set the port and specify mode as Listener. Type MPEG-TS as the input format. It's better to enable hardware decoding and also set YUV color range to full. You may also need NAT set up on your router for forwarding the UDP traffic to your local PC. It's not described here. Now, let's switch to Lyrics Broadcaster on our iPhone. In the Connections menu, we've specified the SRT address and port of our OBS PC. Go to Video Settings and find the HDR video switch. Once you enable it, the HEVC encoding with the main 10 profile will be enabled automatically. Switch to the main screen and push the big red streaming button. Now this magnificent lake mountain view is delivered from your iPhone to your PC running OBS. Let's start streaming to YouTube. Edit title, description, and other options related to the publishing stream. That's it, we're live streaming on YouTube. Take any device that supports displaying HDR content. It's almost any modern mobile phone. Open the YouTube app, find the stream, and start it. You will notice HDR near the stream resolution. It confirms that we have the HDR stream running. Unfortunately, the YouTube app doesn't provide much information about the colors used. But if you open your stream via a desktop browser, you can see that. Here, you can see BT2020 HLG, which means you will enjoy HDR 10-bit content. Please check this video description to get more information and related links.